With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Dallas Cowboys. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. They'll be brought out by their Pro Bowl QB in his seventh year now in the Emerald City. It's Russell Wilson. So knowing the style of offense that Seattle favored or has favored during Russell Wilson's time there, raise your hand if you thought you'd see him lead the league in touchdown passes. My hand's down right now. That's what I thought. He only had 21 in 2016, so we didn't see that part coming. The Seahawks missed the playoffs for the first time in Russell Wilson's tenure last season, but expect that to change going forward. Yeah, 34 touchdown passes last year on the hit four. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. So after that stop, you know that third down is not a gimme if you're on the offensive team. So what are you going to do? Run it again, or maybe you go play action and try and throw the ball and pick up the necessary yardage. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Well, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive, and this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them, thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early, because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. If you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. Dak Prescott trots onto the field with the rest of the Dallas Cowboys offense. They're now 1-1, one 20-13 one, to 13 win over New York in week two. Now, Dak Prescott, 160 yards, although 64 of those came on the third play of the game to Tavon Austin. And the Cowboys sorely needed that play. It was a big strike early, something to get them out of the gates. Many have talked about an offense that was stagnating. Needed to also help them, though, during the game. Ezekiel Elliott, 78 yards on the ground on 17 carries, four and a half yards per carry. Exactly what you need to take control of the line of scrimmage and move the sticks. Second down, Prescott eluding the pressure right. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards and a first. Well, that's a nice job right there. He's looking downfield, but with no one open, he takes off and tries to run for it. He gets to the sidelines and gets out of bounds with a first down. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Second down throw for Prescott. And that is incomplete. He was looking to get it to Allen Hearns that time. And now it's third down. The offensive starters now for the Cowboys. This offense begins and ends with Ezekiel Elliott. He played in only 10 in a row. When he gets his hands on the football, everyone comes to the edge of their seat. Right, 
On third down, it's Prescott. Flushed out right. And Beasley went over the middle. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And they'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Still leaves him with fourth and short. Any chance you go for it? It's definitely in the back of my mind. In fact, I've discussed it with my staff all week long, different situations that I may want to go for. Where's the ball in the field? Do I have confidence in my trigger guy? What am I going to do? I'm also talking about my analytics department. What are the odds? If I don't get it, what's it going to do to me the rest of the game? Personally, I end up taking all that, putting it in my head, <laughs> and making a decision. And you know me, I'm probably going to go for it. Well, Latrine, you want to make an opening drive statement. Yes, I do. Once I have the ball and I've got around the move, I don't want to just give up that easily. And a grab made by Doug Baldwin. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. It's vitally important to wrap a short gain on first down. Now the rookie first rounder from San Diego State. It's Rashad Penny. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. On the tackle, it's Randy Gregory. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On third down, that's Carson. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon hits the Seahawks with a football to begin quarter number two. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Cut! Green 80! Cut! From mid Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Wilson now off the bootleg. Blitz coming and down he goes. Probably a little bit a surprise call there on third and inches that they decided to throw the football and how difficult is that for an offensive line when they look up and see all those extra bodies coming at them tons of bodies coming in they get a huge sack there Offense heads back onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Here we go, 46. First down throw for Prescott. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he slides to avoid the hit. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Turns for the Dallas first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. Over the middle, the connection to Hearns. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 
10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 46, 46, 46. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And he'll get up near the 45, they'll spot it at the 44. First target, first catch, and a first down. On first and 10, Prescott looking deep downfield. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half, and it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. They'll throw again. Prescott stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. First down, Prescott. And this one is incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up. Nice hit, jars the ball free and brings up third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you gotta worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. There's not much pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. The punt team on now as this one sent away. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what we just did there, picking up extra yardage. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and... On second down, here's Wilson. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. On first down, Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Dump set off to Penny, is running back. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll make it a second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. No action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report.
Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a defensive stalemate. No scoring in that first half whatsoever. But a breakthrough can't be too far off. And for the start,